Little Jekyll asked, New to paddling, I have a Zephyr 155. Are there any recommended on-water exercises to help a newbie become more comfortable with a boat's perceived tippiness? I am constantly micro-adjusting my balance, which is very tiring. Suspect I don't understand the edge limits yet. Uh, Zephyr 155, awesome boat. That's exactly the same one I had when I got into sea kayaking and I loved it. Ultimately, sea time is going to be your best friend here. Uh, days, weeks, months. All of a sudden, you're going to look back and realize, I can't believe it used to feel tippy to me. It feels amazing now. Another thing you could do, uh, a friend of mine that's also a fellow paddler and instructor, uh, she's a personal trainer and she does exercises on a stability ball. Uh, she gets weights and then does motions very similar to paddling on a stability ball and sometimes she'll even use uh, another ball to put her feet up on it and then she will do exercises that way. And not only does it strengthen her core, and uh, work those muscles, but it also works on um, balancing, which could be very helpful for you in your kayak. Let's talk about tippiness. There's two types of stability uh, by which kayaks are usually uh, rated or thought about, primary and secondary. Primary is how stable the kayak feels when you sit in it without moving. So if you think about a sit on top or a recreational kayak, those have exceptional primary stability. They feel very, very firm. The point of those is very calm water, new paddlers, or if you're fishing, so you need a very stationary platform on which to sit or to stand. That's where those kayaks are best suited. Secondary stability is that point in which, for example, in sea kayaks, when you put it on edge, it'll hold you way out there before actually going in the water uh, and how well it'll hold that position before you go in the water. So what happens with sea kayaks is you want, uh, you want a primary stability that is not really very stable on purpose, uh, but a really good secondary stability so that once you get to that edge, it'll hold you for many reasons. This will be a kayak. A recreational kayak or a sit on top will have a very flat bottom, excellent primary stability. So that means it'll try to stay flat on the water surface at all times. Guess what happens when a wave comes and you happen to be sideways to it? The kayak's bottom is going to want to stay flat on the water, flat on the water, and will capsize you. Now, if your kayak happens to be very tippy, on the other hand, on that same wave, it's not going to try to stay. It's going to allow you to do whatever you want by moving your hips around or you're going to be edging or you're going to be uh, using your paddle for bracing. All of a sudden that wave is not going to be dictating where that uh, kayak is going to go as much. So a tippy kayak is going to do great in chop, it's going to do great in confused water, it's going to do great in surf. This is a very big misconception because sometimes paddlers that have only paddled recreational kayaks or kayaks with very good primary stability will feel very confident in their kayak's ability to remain upright and will think they can take on anything. But because of their ability to stay upright and feel very sturdy, in chop, in waves, they will perform terribly and they will capsize. So as always, I hope that was helpful. Uh, these are not perfect answers. These are just things and tips that I picked up from other fellow paddlers for, from other instructors that have worked for me and maybe they can help you. Uh, subscribe if you'd like. I'm always trying to put these videos out. If you have any new topics, please drop me a line or reach out on my Instagram account. That's uh, where I usually ask for new topics. If you'd like to discuss any of these further, drop me a line or comment below. See you next time.